Hey guys, what's up? This is Zagatardi 2744 here today to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5. This is a tethered jailbreak, keep in mind. So if you use your iPhone as your main phone, I do not recommend doing this because basically what happens is every time you restart your device, reboot it, or shut it off, you'll have to go ahead and plug it back into your computer in order to reuse it again. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. If you are looking towards an, for an untethered jailbreak, there's not one yet, but when there is one, I'll be doing a tutorial over it as soon as it's out. Uh, on the same iPod Touch that I'm doing the tethered one because I want untethered as well. Uh, so if you can't wait, go ahead and go with the tethered one, which I'll be showing you today. But if for some reason you can wait, go ahead and hit the subscription button above, and an untethered tutorial will come out when an untethered jailbreak does come out. So like I said, all you're going to need is your iOS device compatible with iOS 5, and you're going to need to go ahead and put the device into DFU mode, which is pretty easy to do. All you're going to do is hold power and home for about 10 seconds, and then simply release power, keep holding home until uh, something pops up in your, onto your computer, saying basically it's in recovery mode, and iTunes message will pop up. Make sure your uh, iOS device is plugged in at that time. I've already put it in the DFU mode, so it's pretty much ready to go. Next thing you're going to need is two downloads. Once your device is plugged into the computer as well as put in a DFU mode, you want to go ahead and download two things, and that is Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta, as well as your firmware. And simply head on over to iosnova.com slash firmware. I added one-click downloads to everything available on my website. That'll be available in the description below as well. Uh, and basically just click Windows or Mac here. Go ahead and download that. I recommend saving all this stuff and downloading it directly to your desktop because you will have to locate the files and it's easier just to find them off your desktop. Go ahead and download Redstone 0.9.9 Beta 3 and also download your firmware to your device. And as you guys can see, I have them pretty much all here. Uh, just go ahead and one click download for that. Works on Windows or Mac. Simply once you have that done, like I said, make sure your device is plugged directly into your computer in DFU mode. Go ahead and open up Red Snow. Go ahead and run that. And here you're going to have the extras as well as jailbreak. Go ahead and hit extras and hit select IPSW. And simply locate your IPSW file, and as you guys can see right there, I located it. I put it right on my desktop, which makes it easier for me to locate. Double tap that. It'll say, OK. Just go ahead and click on that. And go back. Hit jailbreak. And it'll go ahead and jailbreak. It's as simple as that. Now, do keep in mind that, like I said, this is tethered. So every time you reboot your device, you're going to have to go right back into Red Snow and uh, simply just follow through with the steps. It's kind of a pain in the butt if you're out there using your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, and you run into the situation with your device rebooting. Um, but for the most part, you know, tethered is better than no jailbreak. I will tell you that. Simply, all you have to have checked in is uh, install Cydia. If you want to have enable battery percentage, you can. I don't really care for it. So go ahead and click install Cydia and click next. And there you have it. It has it in the DFU mode, and it's loading it up into jailbreak. You're going to go ahead and see on your device that it is downloading the jailbreak data. Go ahead and let that happen. Also, you're going to start seeing some white text appear on the screen. That is completely normal. Some of you guys think it's not supposed to be there. Maybe it's going brick into your device. That's not it at all. Uh, it's completely normal. It does take a while, so I might go ahead and speed up the process here. And there you will see it is jailbreaking, the little pineapple will show up, go ahead and let that load through, it does take a while like I said, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through. So your device is going to go ahead and reboot, you're going to see that Apple logo, and then your slider is going to go ahead and show up your unlock screen. Like I said, the last process that it just did, it does take a while, you may have to sit there for two to three minutes. Uh, other than that, you know, that's probably the longest step there is through this jailbreaking process. Go ahead and reboot like I said. Slider does show up. I'm going to go ahead and slide to unlock. And if we scroll over, you're going to see that Cydia has a white icon. Uh, you will run into this error. That is where you have to go back onto the computer. Like I said, do keep it plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make that Cydia icon actually work. Every time you do reboot your device, this is what you're going to have to do, by the way. So as mentioned, once you see that white Cydia icon appear, make sure you put your iOS device right back in the DFU mode after you see that. Make sure it's still plugged into the computer. Open up Red Snow. Go ahead and click back if you left it open. Go to Extras, and then click Just Boot. It's going to go ahead and tell you to do that stuff. Although you've already put it in the DFU mode, it's going to identify the device, and it's going to go ahead and reboot it 
right back to the point where you can actually use Cydia, which like I said, if you do decide to reboot your device or if your device does randomly just reboot, you will have to do this. Then you're gonna go ahead and see the pineapple show up on your Apple device after doing that. And your slider should come up momentarily. The slider's popped up, we're gonna go ahead and slide it. And you will be able to see that Cydia is now there. Go over, and you have Cydia. Go ahead and open it up, and Cydia will work like that. You go ahead and go through the setup. I'm going to go ahead and click User, uh, Done, and there is Cydia. You have now just jailbroken your iOS 5 device uh, with Tethered, of course. So if you are looking for an untethered tutorial, as mentioned, go ahead and hit the subscription button above because I will be doing an untethered tutorial. Uh, all the downloads are up on my site, iosnova.com slash firmware, available in the description below. If you need a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get DFU mode if you're a little bit confused, there's also a video just for that in the description below. Thank you for watching. This is Zagatardi 2744. Please feel free to go ahead and subscribe for more of our iOS devices. Visit in the description below, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, as well as check out iosnova.com for up-to-date iOS news. Feel free to also leave your comments and thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you for watching. This is Zagatardi 2744.